After nearly four years exploring inside Jezero Crater, Perseverance has now climbed to the top of the crater rim, revealing dramatic new landscapes beyond. These include two distant mountains pulled apart by an enormous rift. On this episode of Mars Guy, Perseverance departed the floor of the Neretva Vallis Channel to begin its ascent of the crater rim back in August. The goal was to reach terrain just over the rim crest that looks like it has layers, perhaps deposited in some sedimentary environment before the impact that formed Jezero Crater. This would require driving up more than 500 meters in elevation across terrain that was in places steep and slippery enough that Perseverance struggled to maintain traction. The rover drivers responded with different strategies to overcome the slipping, but ultimately the shallowing slopes near the top allowed for good progress, including the final drive that covered nearly 250 meters, the longest drive of the entire climb. A reorientation at the end of the final drive creates a look of finality with the tracks terminating along the side rather than extending out back of Perseverance. Here are Mars guys for scale and perspective, but this look is likely just the fortuitous result of a turn for calm, a routine maneuver to reorient the rover for improved communications. The view out back looks north along the rim crest, revealing knobby piles of rock that dot this section of the crater rim. It's also evident from here that Perseverance is not actually king of the hill, with a portion of the rim to the north still looming above it. But it's the view to the northwest that's Instagram-worthy. This is where we can finally see out to the other side. The Martian terrain and hazy atmosphere combine to create a stunning vista that provides a sense of depth and distance. The two bouldery knobs are still part of the rim, but the ridge in the middle distance and the two mountain peaks in the far distance are very much in Terra Nova, or whatever the Martian equivalent is. As seen in the orbital view, the prominent ridge has a shape and profile that somewhat resemble that of a volcanic cinder cone, but it's also possible that this is just the erosional remnant of a formerly more extensive geologic unit. The hole in the ground behind it is clearly a well-preserved and therefore relatively young impact crater, so maybe a few hundred million years old. It still has a raised rim, a feature of all craters until erosion smooths it down, and a feature that's evident in the image taken by Perseverance, but nearly concealed by the ridge in front of it. The two distant peaks are nearly 60 kilometers from Perseverance, and outside of the higher resolution images beautifully rendered by Aster Cowart from HRSC color and CTX grayscale images. Switching to a Themis infrared mosaic helps show how these two peaks sit right on one of the many rifts or graben structures that collectively form the Neely Fosse, the name given to this region of Mars. The graben formed as the crust extended probably from mantle upwelling more than three and a half billion years ago, pulling apart and dropping anything in their path, like these two mountains. Perseverance is about to drop over the rim of Jezero Crater to investigate the location dubbed Witch Hazel. The remarkable views it got of distant terrain from the highest point in its journey probably will never get better, a reality faced by every mountain climber whether human or machine.